One of USA's four-man bobsled teams has three soldiers competing. They're among the biggest and strongest athletes on Team USA in Pyeongchang. Sergeant Justin Olson is the pilot. He's six foot two and 235 pounds, a three-time Olympian and gold medalist from the 2010 Vancouver Games. I think we have a unique dynamic. So I'm, I'm typically uh, high intensity every day. And when I'm racing, I'm pretty calm. Uh, Carlo, Nate, and Chris are pretty even chill all day, and then uh, for racing, they're a little bit, they, they bring that crazy side. Captain Chris Folk is the team's brakeman. He brings six feet and 205 pounds to bear on the brakes, along with a lot of experience. He's a three-time Olympian who won a bronze medal at the last Winter Games in Sochi. We train extremely hard. We're in the weight room four or five times a week. We're spraying three or four times a week. That translates well from the Army, because the Army, you work very long days, you work very hard. There's times you're in the field, there's times you don't eat for a couple days, and you realize the mental toughness that you can do hard things if you put your mind to it, and bobsled's the same way. Sergeant First Class Nathan Weber is a Special Forces medic. At six foot, he puts 223 pounds of muscle into pushing the sled. You could, you could say I'm a little bit of an uh, adrenaline junkie. I wouldn't recommend anyone take it as far as I do. Because, um, you know, running, running through gunfire, mortar fire is probably not the best idea. But here I am today, and I'm super excited about that. So Nate brings a little bit of the crazy. If he, you know, he just got back from a deployment, and he was right in the back of the sled. Torn hamstring, he didn't care. From 2002 all the way up until 2014, soldiers have won medals in sliding sports in every Olympics, so we're, we're hoping to keep that trend going. 